Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. If you guys have a Mazda guys, CX-7, Mazda CX-7 that cranks but does not start, we'll explain what could be the reasons for that guys. Okay, first I can just think about four reasons right now guys, what, why is that is happening, even maybe five. Stay with us and we'll explain all that. We'll demonstrate how this car doesn't start cranks and we'll explain what needs to be checked. Okay, always start with the easiest things first because you don't want to start taking things apart before we check a few simple things. Now, quick introduction, we have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below and let us know if the video was helpful. So let's start on it now. So let me show you guys how this car does not start now and we'll explain what we'll be doing. So, we get inside, okay and I'm going to attempt to start it and listen what's going to happen now. So, car definitely guys doesn't want to start. Let's go ahead and start explaining what could be that. So, when you guys turn the ignition on, when you see the lights on, you should hear a buzz from the fuel pump, low pressure fuel pump, that's located under the rear seat guys. Under the rear seat you will be able to hear the buzz or if you get outside the vehicle you will be able to hear it uh, in front of the rear tire but it goes only for about one to two seconds once you turn the key on. So listen now. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'll get somebody to turn the key on and off while I am, guys, standing right here in front of the rear tire and we'll listen for that pump noise. Let's try now. So, that pump is definitely working, guys. In our case, it's not a bad pump. What else it could be? Stay with us and we'll go ahead and start on it now. So guys, let me explain something quick. Now we need to, uh, okay, car is cranking but not starting. What could be the reason? Not getting fuel or not getting spark? Or let's say it could be a bad crankshaft, uh, crankshaft position sensor, camshaft position sensor, but we always start by checking the simple things, guys. Okay, we, we hear the fuel pump running. If you don't hear the fuel pump running, you will need to check the uh, fuse for the fuel pump, relays and all that stuff. Let me show you now. On that Mazda right here, you remove the fuse box cover, okay, and you have a hidden fuse, let's come a little bit closer right here, pull that, and you have a fuel pump fuse, guys, that 30 amp fuse, that's a fuel pump fuse. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's burnt or not, so what I do, I get a voltmeter usually, guys, okay, and let me turn it on, somewhere where you can see it, maybe not here, okay, Let's just adjust the light, perfect. And if you check it on resistance, guys, if that fuse is good, it should show zero on one side of the fuse and the other one. So that fuel pump fuse is good. Okay, obviously, guys, it's okay. It's not the fuse because the pump is working as well. Now, you might have, guys, another fuse for the fuel pump, so check that as well. But if the pump is running, you don't need to worry. Now, what else, guys, it could be? It could be ignition coils, it could be uh, spark plugs, but usually those don't go bad all at the same time. Uh, you may have a, a fuse for ignition coils, so always check that, but on this Mazda, we don't have one. Okay, we actually have, guys, a fuse for the injectors. Okay, this is a fuse for injectors right here. And we're going to test that fuse as well. And I'm going to go ahead and remove it quick. Okay, let me grab one more screwdriver. Just gently pull it out. Okay, and I can test that fuse as well. Okay, that fuse, guys, if it's good, it should show zero on the, on the meter, remember? And I can tell you this is a good fuse, guys. So it's not the injector fuse. What else it could be? Okay, you guys have a relay for the fuel injectors as well. Now, it's that relay right here. And I tested it earlier, we have a video because it takes a little bit of a while to explain how to test a, a relay. But I tested it and that relay is bad, guys. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead, grab it, okay, pull it out. And I'll replace it with a new one now. Okay, once we replace it, guys, I'm pretty much done over here in the fuel box compartment. What I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to put the cover on. Okay, you need to put your uh, cover so you don't forget about it. And I'll explain what else it could be. Okay, on that Mazda CX-7. You guys have a high pressure fuel pump as well. 
high pressure fuel pump we have a video how to replace it it's right here there is one connector make sure you inspect it and make sure it's plugged in and we have a uh, sensor for the fuel pressure okay and that sensor guys okay it's all the way okay behind the power steering pump you can see where the wires are that's a sensor Another thing guys, it could be a bad crankshaft position sensor that can cause that or that is not aligned. We have a special video that explains how to align crankshaft position sensor because you will need a special tool for that master guys. And it will explain what to do. And once you do all that, okay, I'm going to go inside guys. In our case it was just a bad relay for the fuel injectors and let's see if the car will fire right up now. So you can see that took care of our problem. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.